Hi everyone. Unit 5 PTSP. Today's topic band pass random process. Okay. See, this is the frequency spectrum for band pass random process in x axis omega and power density spectrum S double n of omega in y axis. Okay. This frequency is omega naught here 0 omega equal to 0 here omega naught this is the band central frequency this is the omega naught is band central frequency where power density spectrum is maximum ok minus omega naught and omega naught are band central frequencies where power density spectrum is maximum ok see, see the explanation so power density spectrum has has its significant components ok power density spectrum components are present within the bandwidth w ok power density spectral components are present within the bandwidth w and does not include omega equal to zero ok power spectral components are present within bandwidth w and does not include omega equal to zero as shown in figure ok but in practice the spectrum may have small amount of power at omega equal to zero ok but in practice spectrum may have small amount of power spectrum at omega equal to zero as shown in figure ok the spectral components outside the bandwidth w the spectral components outside the bandwidth w this is the outside the bandwidth w spectral components outside the bandwidth w are very small why because omega equal to zero the spectral component outside the bandwidth w are very small and can be neglected okay for example modulated signals with carrier frequency omega naught and bandwidth w are band pass random processes okay okay see very simple ma power density spectrum frequency components are present within the bandwidth w and does not include omega equal to zero but in practice the spectrum may have small amount of power at omega equal to zero the spectral component outside the bandwidth are very small outside the bandwidth w are very small and can be neglected very simple power spectral components are present within the bandwidth w and does not include omega equal to zero okay this is the band pass random process example modulated signals with carrier frequency omega naught and bandwidth w are band pass random processes the noise transmitting over a communication channel can be modeled as a band pass process okay let's see the next next topic band limited random process okay next topic is band limited random process okay band limited random process a band process random process is said to be band limited if its power spectral components are zero outside the frequency of bandwidth w and does not include omega equal to zero the power density spectrum of bandwidth band limited band pass process is shown in figure see let's see the figure here here omega naught omega is the frequency in x axis y axis s double s double n of omega is power spectrum okay power spectral components present outside the bandwidth are completely zero outside the bandwidth w is completely zero here outside the band of width is completely zero power spectral components are present bandwidth w okay so that's why a band pass process is said to be band limited if its power spectral components are zero outside the band of width w okay does not include omega equal to zero okay power spectrum components power spectral components outside the bandwidth w here outside the bandwidth w power spectral components are completely zero ok the, see a band pass random process is said to be band limited 
if it power spectral components are zero power spectral components are zero outside the frequency band of width w that does not include omega equal to zero okay the the power density spectrum of the band limited band pass process is shown in figure okay this is the figure power spectrum of a band limited band pass band limited process very simple outside the bandwidth power spectral components are present in bandwidth w okay power spectral components are present in bandwidth w and power spectral components are completely zero at omega equal to zero okay thank you